guys so today's video i wanted to talk to you guys about aria's potty training story and i do apologize for the quality of this video it's the first time i use my ipad to film and the first time i film at night but i've really been procrastinating with this video so i wanted to just film it and get it out there i'm not even gonna edit the video just so i can get it up as fast as possible i'm kind of motivated i did i filmed one video earlier a few hours ago so i'm kind of motivated to film lots of videos for you guys so basically, um, we knew that Aria was ready to be potty trained because she told us. She literally started screaming whenever we would change her diaper and she would literally scream, no more diapers. I don't want no more pampers. I want panties, panties, panties. And she would just start screaming. We kind of extended it as long as possible. I'm not sure why. I don't know if maybe we secretly wanted to keep our baby a baby and we just didn't potty train her. I told Jamie a few times, okay, we really need to potty train her. She's ready. And he's like, no, you're ready. She's not ready because I really wanted to get her potty trained. So we decided to talk to daycare and let them know that we wanted to potty train her so it could be kind of a united effort. And they said that they were going to go through their next phases of potty training on August 26th. At this point, it was like towards the end of July. So we thought, okay, we'll wait three more weeks and it's not a big deal. So we waited and daycare basically asked for Crocs to be worn. So made sense if they did have accidents, they would just hose the Crocs down instead of having to leave like three pairs of sneakers just in case she, she had accidents, which I'm sure she had more than three accidents in one day, especially like the first few days, maybe the first three days. So Crocs is a really good idea while you are potty training them. Another really good tip that we received was not to use any training pants to literally just go from diapers to panties and that's it because having the training pants they I get the concept that they can take them off themselves and put them back on and, and, it, and it's it's more independent than diapers but they still feel the same material and the same feel of the diaper so they might still be comfortable and kind of have accidents when they shouldn't be having accidents. Whereas if you put them in underwear right away, it's a little scarier and riskier because if they have accidents, you have to kind of clean up and it's a big mess. So you need lots of lots of patience, but they tend to get it quickly. I think about three days, Aria was potty trained, not completely, she still had a few accidents because she already knew, okay, I need to go to the restroom, I need to pee, and she'll literally tell us, pee, caca, let's go. And we ran, and <laughs> Wherever we were at, we'd run to the restroom and we would um, body train. So um, basically, that's all we did. We took the stuff to daycare, lots of undies, lots of shorts and pants and the Crocs. And when she would get home, we would continue the training uh, at home. And she had a few accidents, but it was no big deal. Every time she had an accident, I said, it's okay, it's okay. We potty in the toilet. And, you know, would walk her over to the toilet, sit her down. Even if she had finished um, her peeing, I would just still sit her on the toilet while I cleaned everything else up. So she understood that that was meant to be done in the toilet. And she got it very, very quickly. We still sometimes use a diaper at night. And she is now two years and eight months. However, she usually wakes up dry. She literally wakes up and says, I have to go to the restroom. And she goes to the restroom. And most times she wakes up dry. We've actually even forgotten to put a diaper on her at night a few times and she's woken up completely dry, which is amazing. Another tip I want to give is at the, I would say like the fourth, fifth day that we were potty training, we had to go to my dad's birthday party or somebody's birthday party, an event at my dad's house. And I was so concerned for the drive because it was about 45 minutes away and I just kind of mentally saw the mess that was going to be made if she had an accident in the car like the car seat that the seat and just it was going to be crazy so but i didn't want to put a diaper on her so she understood that it was only panties from now on so i put a panty and then what i did was i put a like the insert of a diaper but a uh, fitted diaper so it's it's okay if it goes um is in contact with the skin and I kind of just put that inside her undies and she was kind of like what are you doing mom take this off she didn't really like it actually I have one I'm gonna show you guys hold on okay 
it's like just did cloth diaper <laughs> laundry so they're still wet but basically like this something like this it's a fitted um kind of like an insert but it's for a fitted diaper so this um the, could be in contact with the baby's skin and i kind of just put it in her diaper just in case she had an accident most of it will get in here or you could also use one of these um, regular cloth diapers and kind of just try fold it and put that into the panties just for the car ride you know just just in case basically so that's what we used for car rides and it worked amazing most of the time actually she never had the accident in the car but again it was more for my peace of mind and it was great she didn't have any accidents um, at my dad's house and of course for a few days basically the first week that whole weekend we stayed home and it's really hard because if you really think about it there's never a weekend at least for us that we don't have an event we have somebody's birthday on saturday or somewhere to go on sunday or something to do the weekend and it's difficult to kind of say no we can't do anything we have to body train so once you're kind of past the first week that is the hardest and most critical week as long as you completely swap them from pampers two panties and i understand that we still kind of use at night we still use diapers but i mean during the day if they feel that they have panties all day long they will get it quicker and at least that's what i think and that's what definitely worked for us and that's it the only things we used um we purchased a little potty and it was a princess potty and it kind of did a little ring whenever uh, any business was done and it was yay and a little cute ring and we also, we have two bathrooms, one upstairs and one downstairs. So we also got one of those little seats, but she doesn't really like that. So she will just go on the toilet because she doesn't like that. That little seat that you put on top of the toilet to make the little circle, um, like the toilet seat circle smaller. She didn't really like it and had little handles, but she didn't like it. So we kind of tossed that. We don't use that anymore. And if she has to go and the seat is upstairs, then she'll just go straight to the big toilet. And she goes all by herself now. She wipes, she goes number two. She does it all by herself. Now she is going to be three in two months and she's fully potty, blah, blah. She's fully potty trained and yeah, that's it. So the only thing that I can say that was a huge, huge, huge tip was one, do not do the potty training um, like the training diapers because it's going to extend the potty training process Two, have lots of patience and three when they do have accidents kind of just calmly you know you are upset because now you have to clean all this and it's going to take some time and it's not a fun thing to do but just realize that it's something that they're learning and how you react might affect the process and one last thing and very important is we kind of had little stickers for her every single time she went to potty and she knew where's my sticker right when she potty and we also gave her like bigger gifts like for example that one night that we completely forgot to put a diaper overnight and she woke up completely dry we gave her a big gift and she really kind of just had that as an incentive and she really liked that and she I felt like she was really trying because she was trying to get the stickers or the gift or whatever it may be. So those are all my tips. I hope they help. Good luck potty training. If you're currently in the process or thinking about starting, it's not as bad as you think. I think I mentally prepared myself for the worst experience of my life. It wasn't that bad. Just have patience. Everybody goes through it and everybody survives it. So just relax. No, it's a week of difficult um, difficult time for a week but you kind of survive and the next week is better and it just gets better with time and that's it if you have any questions let me know and I'll see you later guys bye